Hello, Mrs. Bella. I hope you're enjoying your new place. Have you and the kids settled in well? Oh, hello, Mr. Hayden. Yes, we're doing well here. The place is simple, but it has everything we need. The apartment may be small, but it's fully furnished, so you don't have to worry about a thing. Thank you. It feels wonderful to have the opportunity to move out of the refugee housing and into this new apartment. I'm truly grateful for everything I have been provided with so far. No thanks necessary. We're all really happy for you. I can't imagine what you and the children must have gone through just to get here. How are the children, by the way? You know, it's really challenging for them. They have endured unimaginable horrors. Being in America certainly helps, but they still carry a lot of trauma. Even loud noises can make them fearful as they associate them with missiles and the war. I'm genuinely sorry to hear about their struggles. On a different note, I recall you mentioning that you secured a job. When are you scheduled to start your new position? Sure. I'll begin working as a cleaner in a law firm starting next week. Wow, that seems quite different from your expertise. Didn't you earn a master's degree in biomedical engineering? Yes, that's true. However, I'm currently in the process of having my diploma recognized here. For now, I'm just grateful to have any job, to be honest. It's better than having no job at all. Besides, I'm genuinely happy to be working. Great to hear that! Your positive attitude is truly admirable. By the way, during our last meeting, you mentioned that you haven't found any daycare for your children yet. Yes, it's true. That's unfortunate. It seems like most daycares in the city are either too expensive or already full. However, there is one recently opened daycare called New Beginnings Daycare that caters specifically to the refugee population. I'll make sure to send you their information as soon as possible so you can look into it. This is really nice. I can't thank you enough. You don't need to thank me. I genuinely hope that once your kids settle into the daycare, they'll make friends and feel more welcomed. That's pretty much all the news I have for now. Feel free to reach out if you have any questions, Bella. Thank you very much. Your assistance is incredibly valuable to us. Don't mention it. That's what we're here for. We'll talk again later, Mrs. Bella. Hi, Mr. Elliot. I wanted to see how my kids are doing. Are they doing all right? Oh, Mrs. Bella, there is no need to worry. The kids are doing fantastic. They are incredibly well-behaved and genuinely some of the most polite children I've encountered in a while. I apologize for my kids' behavior at the daycare today. You see, they still have some lingering trauma from the war. Usually, a sudden flash of light would signal an explosion and they had to seek shelter. So when they saw the light bulb flickering, they instinctively ran and hid behind the sofa. Oh, please, don't worry about that at all. I assure you, your kids won't have to experience any fear while they're here. They will be absolutely fine, and I will make sure to closely supervise them. You know, we are relatively new to America. We had to seek refuge here due to the war in our country. I apologize if you found my kids' actions to be inappropriate. No, it's absolutely fine. I completely understand the situation. Your kids are in safe hands with me. As you already know, we have a wide range of activities available at our daycare, and the children truly enjoy their time here. That's great to hear. I'm truly relieved that I discovered your daycare facility. I've already completed all the required work online and made the payment for the first week. Yes, you did. Everything's all set. You don't have to worry about a thing until you come to pick them up. Just a reminder that we close at 7. Can you please let me know what time you're planned to return to pick them up? I usually finish work at 5, so I'll be here around 5.40 or so. However, I'm still getting familiar with everything, so I'm not entirely sure yet. Oh, I see. No worries. I was just curious, you know. Just making sure. But I assume you won't be back here before 5, right? Just checking, in case we plan one of our fun activities. Alright, I need to go now. 
We're incredibly fortunate to have access to an affordable daycare service like this. Thank you very much. No worries. Here, we prioritize the well-being of both the children and the parents. You don't need to stress about anything. Just trust me with your kids and everything will be alright. Hey there, Camila. I'm still stuck at work. But I just wanted to reach out and see how things are going for both of you. Is everything going smoothly? I really hope you and Benjamin are doing well at the daycare. Well, Mom, we're doing just fine. You don't have to stress too much about us. Hey, sweetie. I need to talk to you. Are you absolutely sure everything's okay? I can't help but notice that both you and Benjamin come home looking famished every day. It's seriously worrying me. And it's making it super hard for me to concentrate at work. Plus, you hardly ever replied to my texts. And it's giving me this gut feeling that something just isn't right. And honestly, it seems like you're getting less and less happy with each passing day at the daycare. Can we please have a chat about what's going on? Mom, seriously, we're okay. It's just that it's tough getting used to a completely new place, you know? But don't worry, Benjamin and I will handle it. You know how resilient we are, right? We have to stay strong not only for ourselves, but for dad too. By the way, how's your job? Is that annoying coworker still giving you a hard time? I feel awful that you have to go through all that. I wish I could do more to help you out. Well, that employee definitely has some sort of bias against me, but it's all right, dear. You mentioned that sometimes he goes out of his way to knock over your coffee on purpose just to make you clean it up. And he even kicked the trash can, causing garbage to spill all over the floor. And then he had the nerve to order you to pick it up with your hands? It's seriously worrying, Mom. If it's becoming too much for you to handle, please consider quitting your current job. We can search for a new one together. Your well-being is important to me, and I want to support you through this. Oh, Camila, I couldn't be prouder of you. You're so smart for your age. I can't believe how lucky I am to have such a caring and thoughtful kid like you. I get that you're worried about me, but honestly, no need to stress. I'll be fine. I promise. I believe that if I keep pushing and never give up, all my hard work will pay off. And guess what? On a brighter note, I've made a new friend. Her name is Delilah. Isn't that wonderful? Oh, really? What does she look like? Is she being nice to you? Of course, my dear. Delilah is such a wonderful girl. On my first day at work, she kindly showed me around the building and stood up for me against the people who do me wrong at work. We've grown closer and become good friends since then. Despite her busy lawyer schedule, we managed to take breaks together. She's always super kind to me and honestly, having her around makes me feel way less lonely. That's awesome, Mom. I'm really glad to hear that. Sorry, I'm in a rush right now and I've gotta go. I'll catch up with you later when I get home. Love you. Wait, Camila, where are you going? Camila. Mom, are you there? Please, I really need you to be here right away. It's an emergency. Camila, sweetie, what's going on? Can you please let me know what happened? Mom, Benjamin, he's not doing well. Can you please hurry up and come to the daycare as quickly as possible? Oh my goodness. What happened to him? Don't worry, my darling. Just hang in there, and I'll be there in a split second. Camilla, you little brat. How dare you use the phone without my permission, huh? I clearly told you that phones are not allowed during work hours. What are you talking about? I honestly don't understand. Seriously, cut the crap already. If you weren't the one using the phone, then how the hell did your mom magically know that your idiotic brother passed out and rushed to the daycare in the nick of time to take him to the hospital, huh? Don't even think about trying to fool me, kiddo. I'm older and tougher than you. If you dare to defy my orders one more time, be prepared to face the consequences. I promise you, I'll make you regret it big time. Oh, and guess what? Starting tomorrow, you better leave that damn phone off yours at home. 
No negotiations. Got it? And don't even think about bringing it to work and using it during your precious working hours. Because if you do, I'll personally smash that piece of junk into a million little pieces. I don't get it at all. I promise I never use the phone while I'm working. It was just a lucky coincidence that mom got off work early that day and decided to come home and pick me and my brother up. It has absolutely nothing to do with me using the phone. Nice try, trying to spin your web of lies, but nobody's buying it. Listen up, loser. I'm warning you, leave that stupid phone of yours at home, got it? I'm sure you remember the epic beating I gave you last time for sneaking around with that thing, right? So here's the deal, don't you even think about messing with me again. Because if you do, I'll make sure your pathetic excuse for a life as well as your brother's turns into an absolute nightmare. Clear enough for your pea-sized brain to comprehend? But we're just kids. You're not supposed to make us work. It's totally against the rules. It's like super illegal and stuff. Oh, look who's strutting around like they own the place. Did I not drill this into your puny brain already? Let me spell it out for you, genius. This ain't your run-of-the-mill daycare. Oh no, this is a special establishment where we don't cuddle lazy brats like you. Nope, here we believe in tough love, and that means making you work your sorry butt off just to stay afloat. So listen up, you entitled little twerp. If you think you can just waltz through here without lifting a finger, you've got another thing coming. I've got a whole repertoire of punishments lined up for slackers like you. And let me tell you, they're not for the faint of heart. What you're doing, it's not right. It's like super duper illegal. If you keep making us and all the other kids work like this, I'm gonna have to tell my mom all about it. Yeah, she's gonna be really mad, so you better watch out. Oh, what's this? Threatening to tell mommy, huh? You're really starting to push my buttons, you little twerp. Listen up, because I'm only gonna say this once. If you dare spill the beans to your precious mommy about what's really going on in this daycare, then you can kiss this place goodbye. Yeah, you heard me right. No more daycare for you. And let me ask you something, genius. What do you think will happen then? What? Imagine this. Your little mommy won't be able to work anymore. Yep, she'll lose her job. And guess what? Without a paycheck, she won't be able to pay the rent. So where does that leave you? Out on the streets. But wait, it gets even better. I happen to know some powerful people who could have you deported from this country in a heartbeat. Just snap my fingers and poof, you'll be sent packing back to that little war-torn dump you came from. I bet you miss dodging bullets, huh? So go ahead, keep playing your little game. Just remember, I hold all the cards here, and I can ruin your life faster than you can blink. You mean, go back to war? Oh, bravo. Give yourself a pat on the back, Camilla. You finally managed to grasp what I've been saying. I must say, you're such a genius, aren't you? No way! You can't do that to my family! I won't let you! It's just not fair! <laughs> oh, this is rich. What's a little runt like you gonna do to me, huh? Attack me with your dolls and plastic knife from your little kitchen set? Give me a break. Let's get one thing straight. I'm the one in charge here, got it? So let me ask you this, genius. When your mommy asks what you do at this place, what are you gonna say? You gonna lie through your teeth like the little brat you are? Well, nothing, I guess. I'll tell her nothing. Oh, fantastic. I'm delighted to hear that. Now, go ahead and have some sweet dreams, because I can't wait for you to come crawling back to my daycare and work your sorry little butt off for me. It's gonna be a real treat. <laughs>
Why did Benjamin faint? Please, open up to me. No, Mom. It's nothing. Really. Nothing serious happened, I promise. Benjamin just felt a little dizzy, that's all. Please don't worry too much about us. I know you're exhausted from your long day of work. What you need to do is take good care of yourself and get lots of rest. Benjamin and I will be absolutely fine, I promise. We'll take care of each other. Camila, my dear, as your mother, I want you to understand that you can't keep things hidden from me forever, okay? I'm here for you, and I just want to know what happened. Remember, we're family, and in our family, we stick together through thick and thin. Please, open up to me. Let's face whatever it is together. But mom, I, I... Do I have to call Mr. Elliot from the daycare and ask him about what actually happened? No, Mom! Please don't do that! I'll tell you everything! So, tell me! What actually happened at the daycare? Mom, I'm sorry, but I feel like I have no other option but to keep it a secret from you. He said that he would have us all deported from this country if I told you the truth. I'm really scared, Mom. And I don't want that to happen! What? Who told you that? It's Mr. Elliot, Mom. What? Mr. Elliot? What did he do to you and Benjamin? Yes, Mom. At the daycare, there's this room where we have to work. It's like a mini factory with machines. And we make clothes and shoes and stuff. But here's the thing. Mr. Elliot made us promise not to tell anyone about it. He said if we did, he'd kick us out of the country. Last week, one of the kids didn't work well. Mr. Elliot threatened to have his whole family deported. And guess what? We haven't seen that kid since. It's really scary, Mom. We didn't want to bother you because we know how hard you work. We thought it was easier to just go along with it at the daycare, rather than risk going back to the war-torn place we came from. But the thing is, Mom, they only gave us these crackers to eat, and it's just not enough. That's why we're not feeling well all the time. Benjamin even fainted during work. I'm really worried. What? This is absolutely unbelievable. I can't believe Mr. Elliot would force you to work at such a young age. You and Benjamin should never have to go through that. It's completely unacceptable. You both cannot go back to that daycare. It's clear that Elliot is exploiting you for his own financial gain, and that is illegal. I won't let him get away with it. We're going to take the necessary steps to protect you and make sure this doesn't happen to any other children. But mom, are you sure about that? Can you really afford another daycare? You know what, my dear? You can stay right here in this house, but I have to be honest with you. You're still so young, and it worries me to leave you alone without anyone to take care of you. But mom, what if Elia finds out and gets us in trouble? I'm so scared of going back to the war. Please, mom, I'll do anything to avoid that. I just want to be safe and protected. Sweetie, wait. There's no way they can get us deported, is there? But what if there is? He got another kid's family deported before. I'm not sure. But it can't be. Now, how would I tell the police? What if they don't believe me? What if we, like, don't say anything at all? Like... Let's be super strong and brave, and maybe the war will stop real soon, and we can finally go back to our home country again. Sweetheart, I understand that you might be feeling scared and uncertain right now, but keeping quiet about this isn't the solution. We cannot let Elliot get away with this wrongdoing. It's not just about us. There are other innocent kids who are being exploited as well. If we don't expose Elliot's crimes, Hundreds of other children will continue to be forced into underage labor. But mom, we're only refugees. We're still new to everything around us. I don't know if anyone will listen to us. What should I do in this situation? Anyways, don't worry my sweet one. I'll figure something out real soon. Hey Camilla, you little brat. Do you have any clue what time it is right now? You and your stupid brother were supposed to be here by 9 a.m. And it's already 10 in the morning. This place isn't a charity, you know. Do you honestly think you can just show up whenever you feel like it and vanish the next day? Hold your horses. 
We have rules here and we won't tolerate any laziness. If you don't show up in the next 10 minutes, I swear I'm kicking you out of this daycare. And guess what? Prepare to be kicked out of this country as well. Do you seriously think I'm scared of you? Cut it out with your pointless threats already. Huh? What's with this attitude of yours? Do you seriously believe you stand a chance against me? Let me remind your pea-sized brain of something. I'm the one in charge here. If you dare step out of line, I'll make sure you and your entire family feel my wrath. And trust me, you won't enjoy it when I'm angry. So let me ask you one more time. When are you and your dim-witted brother coming here to work for me? Answer me right away, because I don't have all day to wait around for you. You know I'm never gonna come back there again, right? What's that supposed to mean? Are you actually asking for you and your entire family to be thrown out of this country? Get your sorry self over here and work for me, you pathetic little brat, or I'll roast you like a bunch of potatoes. Hey Elliot, it's Bella here, Camilla's and Benjamin's mom. I'll say this once, so pay attention. The kids are not coming back to your awful daycare. All you've been doing is using them to work and line your own pockets. I'm truly appalled by you, Elliot. Oh, Mrs. Bella, is that you? So, those little brats, I mean kids, have spilled the beans to you, huh? That's right. And let me assure you, you and your entire facility will go down the drain soon enough because I've already reported everything to the police. What? The police? Are you freaking kidding me? You're gonna regret this. I'll make sure you're out of this country by tonight. I have some friends in immigration who owe me favors. Oh really? Well, tell me then. What are the names of your friends who work in immigration? What on earth are you blabbering about? Why are you asking me that? Well, because I'm gonna need it for my lawyer. A lawyer? You? <laughs> Don't make me laugh, you filthy rat. You probably can't even afford to feed yourself, let alone hire a lawyer. Think again, because I've already found someone who's willing to defend me for free in my lawsuit against you. Her name is Delilah Grace, and she's currently working for one of the top law firms in the US. What? This is utterly ridiculous. You're just kidding, right? There's no way a filthy migrant like you can find a lawyer willing to defend you. This must be some kind of joke, isn't it? Well, let me tell you, I'm not scared of you. So quit with your empty threats because no sane person would believe that load of nonsense. Oh really? Do you think I'm just playing around with threats? Well think again. Because the police have already arrived at your location. And they're about to enter the premises as we speak. So get ready to face the repercussions of your actions, Elliot. Your days of child abuse are finally coming to an end. Oh no, you're right. I can see police cars parking outside and officers are approaching me. Hey, do you mind telling them that this is all just a huge misunderstanding between us so they can leave? Please, Bella, are you there? Mrs. Bella? After the arrest of Elliot, a special agent approached me with some shocking news. It turns out, Elliot was just an alias he used to hide his true identity as a wanted mafia member. The FBI had been on his trail for quite some time. What's even more surprising is that there's a whopping $250,000 reward for his capture. And to my astonishment, the special agent announced that I am the lucky recipient of that generous sum. After what felt like an eternity, I finally received a call from my husband who has been tirelessly fighting on the front lines. My kids and I are eagerly counting down the days until we can reunite and be a big, happy family once again. It's true, you know, that finding strength within ourselves is the key to overcoming any situation.